Hi, Greg Poss here again from the Be Higher Brain program. And uh, today we want, we want to talk a little bit about failing our way to the top. And that's really the true test of how higher brain dominant or fearless we are. Do we have the ability to get kicked in the teeth and keep getting up and keep going and not letting it de-energize or demotivate us? Or are we going to go into victim mode? Are we going to give up? Are we going to blame somebody else? Are we going to look for other people um, in being our problem? Take a look at this video and tell me if this goaltender is higher brain or lower brain dominant. Obviously, that goaltender was very higher brain dominant and fearless. He didn't come out, make a mistake, go into victim mode and hang his head. He got up, he, he busted his ass, and he came back and did everything possible so that he can make the save. He didn't give up. He failed his way to the top. The fact that he made the save is a bit spectacular, but it's inconsequential. The key is that in his, in his mind, there was no quit. There was no give up. And it wasn't that it was an external circumstance that created that. He didn't need a coach to pat him on the back. He didn't need a coach to tell him to get up and hustle and get back in the play and keep his head up. No, he did it himself. He did it with his thoughts. And we know that when we control our thoughts to be higher brain dominant, we can live in a fearless state and go all in like we got nothing to lose. And every time we do that, we have the opportunity to do something spectacular. We give ourselves a chance to be great, just like that goaltender did. Today, be fearless, be higher brain dominant, and do it intentionally. Don't leave it to chance.